Bring her back the other way. Doesn't really work the other way. Got you back, yeah. Give it to the guys. Come on, guys. Everybody should go up and touch your chart. Just hold it and you'll. It's all nice and smooth. And it's like, ow, 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 ow. Yeah. And again, these dermal denticles are what allow them to be hydrodynamic in the water. It creates something called spikes. Yeah, good. Um, what's the tail called in sciencey words? Caudal fin. Okay. Uh, kind of unique in dogfish. Uh, it's kind of a lobe caudal fin. It doesn't really have a huge notch like a lot of the open water species have. Toro. Up here if you want to make sure you're spelling it right. Dorsal. Okay. Two different size lobes make it a hetero circle tail. Our six is caudio. Okay, and then um, if we flip this guy over, while we're on the fins, two. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> what are these rear paired organs called? I'm sorry, not the organs, the uh, the fins. But what are the fins? I'm sorry, let's start with the fins. Um. Uh, did we already miss this one? Can you go back a couple slides? Uh, I think no worries. Think um, good. Uh, these are claspers. You guys have that right, but what are these fins? What is Elvis shake? Pelvis. His pelvis. These are his pelvic fins. Okay, pelvic fins. And then these paired organs between the pelvic fins are then called the pelvic fins. Claspers. Good. So if this guy has claspers, what does this make him? A male or a female shark? Yeah. This is a male shark. Good. What are the claspers? U shaped area here as you transition from the stomach into the small intestine. Which one? I don't think it's a duodenum. I don't know. I can't really find it. I wonder if they think it's a delicate. The duodenum isn't actually labeled. All right. right Below the stomach, you can see it up on the board, but this is the this is the pancreas. Okay, the pancreas does help in digestion by secreting digestive fluids into the stomach through the pancreatic duct. Is that what they call it on there? Would the pancreas be this one? This is a pancreatic duct which runs into the duodenum. Duodenum. Okay, cruising down. Thank you, Mrs. Margraf. Oh, that's fresh. <laughs> How long ago do you think this shark was caught? Man, maybe unless that's a spleen. That could be the spleen. That's tri triangular shape. Wouldn't you call it triangular? It sounds like a couple years. Are right, there spleens? <laughs> that's where they, they do a lot for. Food, um, Wouldn't this one be the spleen? Is that the pancreas right there? Guys, I apologize for not knowing Wouldn't how to this one be the spleen those. and this one the. <laughs> this was on the lower end of the. Can we go back up to the pancreas real quick? Our shark is mutated. Like I'm sorry if I was... Lower stomach. The pancreas is located on the duodenum and the lower stomach. That should be... Then the pancreas is... I thought that'd be that guy. How about... That guy. How about this guy? Pancreas. I totally apologize. Can I revert? So pancreas. Right below the esophagus slash stomach. That's the pancreas. So pancreas, pancreas is it one of that uh, right the there? one that you're po pointing at right there is the pancreas. Yeah. The, box right the triangular, the, the triangular dark one is the spleen below it. Yes, that's the pancreas. I totally. What it would be a wrapping around the. Mm, it'd be part of the circulatory system that provides blood to these organs. Are oh, we gonna have to remember all these things for like a test or something? Uh, not necessarily. No. Thank you. Alrighty, so we have the spleen. <laughs> now it gets kind of interesting. We'll get it um, the yeah. Whoa. Okay, valvular intestine. Oh, That's this guy. Yeah. And then we're going to talk about the spiral valve next, probably. <laughs> what? Spiral valve, there we go. Okay, so uh, the majority of the absorption of nutrients, just like in humans, takes place in the small intestine. In sharks, it's highly specialized. Uh, we have a special part of the intestine here called the spiral valve, which is very apparent once we get inside of the. Question. Small intestine is a really, really big thing. Yes. It's <laughs> ironic that they call it the small intestine because it's actually pretty massive. Looks like you got some more digested food in there. Yep. Should touch it. Okay, so getting inside of this guy, as we open it up, we'll begin to notice. Oh, that looks delicious. I want some of that. What we call the spiral valve. Just like the rugae in the stomach. Yeah. <sighs> At least we have one more class before lunch. <laughs> that looks pretty nice. Oh, yeah. I feel sorry for your oh, class. Yeah. That'd be a really bad for you, Mr. Margraf. Usually it's a little bit cleaner here, but this guy's full of duty. I feel bad for Mrs. Margraf. Um, just put That's small like intestine with the spiral valve on there. Okay, so what is this the thing? Spiral valve is a in the small That's a spleen. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yep. Alright. You can
can go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Margaret. Awesome. Colon is simply the, the terminus of the small intestine here. The colon will empty into where? The cloaca. Cloaca, good. Okay, <laughs> rectal gland. Hopefully, it's pretty easy to see. Here it is. Um, the rectal gland allows for, um, what would you call it, osmoregulation. Okay, so osmoregulation meaning that uh, it's able to regulate the amount of salts in the body. Okay, let's see what it says about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would this yeah, yeah. right here be the rectal gland? Uh, it would look like... Yes. It's not... It doesn't, it's very distinct on here. It should make it look better than that. That's definitely the rectal gland right there. The one that looks like a V sort of? Um, that's actually going to be, it is, yeah. It's very easy to see on these guys. Oh, wait, where would you put it then? I just draw it in there to the side someplace. So would that V shaped thing be? That's going to be part of the reproductive system for so, yeah. Good. Rectal gland. Wrecked them. I can nearly kill them. So what oh, does that, that thing way. look like inside? Does all that stuff just like come, just um, cut that? What are you talking about? Wrecked the black. No, it's just gonna look like that. It's like a hot dog. Oh, I hope I hot dogs for lunch. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Margraf. Yep. Okay, the cloak uh, last portion. It does get. It's the catch-all basin, so it gets all the goodies in there. Oh, oh, that's Mr. Yeah. For a I think Mr. Rachel is scared of the smell. Okay, uh, next. He's more of a land guy. Alrighty, so let's take a look. A spleen we got. There's the stomach. Duodenum is a U-shaped one. There's the massive liver. A uh, valvular intestine, which we have opened up nicely to see the um, spiral valve. It's what's that D-shaped thing? Uh, again, it's going to be part of the reproductive right, stack that we're going to talk about shortly. Take a look at our spiral valve really quick. Okay, so we saw the rugae in the stomach. Uh, we saw the papillae in the esophagus. We saw the spiral valve inside the intestine with lots of doo doo. <laughs> Plenty of doo doo. <laughs> Me too. That's that spiral valve looks much better than ours does. If we if we rinsed ours out, it would look just like Let's that. Rinse actually. Ours out. For real? We, we can do that. We've got time. <laughs> What's underneath the small intestines, guys? What do we put for that? Um, uh, that's going to be part of the reproductive system. We're going to wait on that one. Oh. What about what's under the liver, like a small pouch? Um, those are going to be, re be reproductive as well, which is strange because those are actually testes. Thing on the neck. That's going to be the heart when we get to the next. And these, are these the nares? Those are nares, yeah. You just drew it in, okay. Awesome. Uh, if you guys are ready to move on from internal, that'd be great. What do you guys think? Some are not labeled yet. This tissue that runs here. Okay, see this little, like, that's actually seminal vesicle. The squiggly white line. That's like kidney? Uh, this actually takes care of the reproductive end of it. Where this yellow stuff is, see how I'm kind of moving that yellow stuff around? Okay, that's going to be the kidney. Wow, so I'm gonna like go. Jelly oh, is it this? Soda. Is it this line coming so out of that thing? Wiggly line. Uh, no, that's gonna be like. That's probably part of the um. The gallbladder, the duct into the into the stomach. There the is gallbladder. no kidney thing right here. Then. No, that, some of the stuff might not be labeled. That's fine. How come it's all like? Yep. Why is it all wavy? And... Like Flattened, so ribbon-like, darkly colored. Yep. All right. Um. The testes in sharks are in a place that you wouldn't expect them to be. They're actually way up here. They are a paired organ like they are in humans and other mammals. Uh, we can find both of them by kind of getting around the liver. Okay, here's one. Oh, wow. Is that what that uh, and here's that the other one. thing is? Um, if they're on there. This is our final product. Yeah. Label. Oh, we take, we take our probe and we put it in the spherical.